how life would transform if we were the size of an ant? Picture it for a moment. The world as we know it would take on a completely different dimension. The smallest crack in the sidewalk would become a canyon, a puddle, an ocean. Our everyday objects would tower over us like monoliths. This thrilling exploration is not about belittling our existence, but rather magnifying the wonder that surrounds us. Today, we're going to journey into a world where we are no bigger than an ant. We'll examine the physical, environmental and social implications of such an existence. We'll see how it challenges our understanding of the world and how it might reshape our perspective on life as we know it. So, fasten your seat belts, or rather, your ant-sized harnesses, and prepare for a journey of mind-bending proportions. Dive into the minuscule world where the mundane becomes the extraordinary. Imagine waking one day, finding yourself no taller than a blade of grass. You're now the size of an ant, a tiny speck in a world that suddenly become gigantic and intimidating. The physical implications of this transformation are staggering, and they begin with your strength. Ants are renowned for their Herculean power, able to carry objects many times their own body weight. As an ant-sized human, you too would inherit this relative strength, lifting and moving objects that were once impossible at your human size. Your speed would also undergo a drastic change. Relative to your size, your pace would be swift, but in the grand scheme of the world, you'd be significantly slower. A journey that once took minutes could now take hours or even days, but don't feel too disheartened. As an ant-sized human, you'd be able to move in ways you never could before, scaling vertical surfaces with ease and slipping through the tiniest of gaps. Your senses would be heightened, a necessary adaptation to survive in this new giant world. You would become acutely aware of vibrations in the ground, sensing the approach of potential danger. Your sense of smell would become your primary tool for navigation, guiding you through the vast landscape and what about your daily tasks? Well, they would change dramatically. A simple task like making a cup of coffee would become a mammoth undertaking. You'd have to climb up the side of the cup, then somehow manage to pour the boiling water without scalding yourself. And let's not even get started on how you'd get the coffee beans ground. Indeed, life as an ant-sized human would be fraught with challenges. Everyday tasks would become Herculean feats, a walk to the corner store, an epic adventure. But with these challenges come unique opportunities, a chance to see the world from a completely different perspective. A simple walk in the park would become a monumental journey. Suddenly, a summer rain is a catastrophic flood and a gust of wind is a deadly tornado. Imagine being the size of an ant, where the world as you know it becomes a treacherous landscape fraught with environmental challenges at every turn. At this scale, weather patterns would drastically change our daily lives. A light drizzle would feel like a torrential downpour and a gentle breeze could knock us off our feet. Even simple tasks like crossing a puddle become perilous endeavors, akin to crossing vast oceans. And what about temperature? The human body is designed to regulate its own heat. But at this size, even slight changes in ambient temperature could cause hypothermia or heat stroke. But it's not just the climate that would pose a threat the animal kingdom would also become a whole new world of danger. Imagine a world where a house cat is a ferocious predator and a spider is a terror-inducing monster. Even insects, once considered harmless, would now be formidable adversaries. A mosquito bite could be fatal and an encounter with a beetle could end in a deadly duel. And let's not forget about the plant life. At this scale, grass blades become towering trees and a patch of moss is a dense jungle. The simple act of navigating through the undergrowth becomes a Herculean task. Plus, plants that were once benign could now pose significant threats. Ever heard of the Venus flytrap? At ant size, even this seemingly innocuous plant becomes a lethal predator. Food sources would also become an issue. The food we once consumed with ease would now be massive obstacles. We'd have to rethink our entire dietary habits, perhaps even becoming scavengers or foragers. Living as an ant-sized human, we'd find ourselves in a world where everything is a giant and we are the tiny invaders. It would be a world where every day is a struggle and every moment is a fight for survival. We'd have to adapt, evolve and overcome in ways we never thought possible. But remember, even in this microcosm, survival is a daily battle. Consider a world where a whisper is a shout and a handshake is a wrestling match. This is the realm of the ant-sized human. A world where our social norms are turned upside down and given a vigorous shake. Communication, 
the very bedrock of our society, would become a Herculean task. Our voices, once loud and clear, would be tiny whispers in the wind. The written word, almost an impossibility. The tip of a pen would be a boulder to us and a single drop of ink a flood. We'd have to innovate, adapting our methods to suit our new stature. Perhaps we'd learn from our ant counterparts, using pheromones or vibrations to converse. Our relationships too would be drastically altered. The simple act of hugging a loved one would become a perilous journey. The intimacy of a whisper in the ear, a thing of the past. Instead, we'd need to find new ways to express affection, to show our love and care. It might be as simple as a touch, a shared meal, or a shared adventure across the vast landscapes of a living room rug. And what of our societal structures? The cornerstones of our civilization, our cities, our governments, our economies, would need to be reimagined. We'd need to build anew in a world where a single pebble can be a mountain and a puddle, a lake. Our governments would have to adapt to govern a people who live in the cracks and crevices of the world, invisible to the naked eye, and our economies? They'd change too, driven by the need for resources on a scale we can hardly imagine. But it's not all doom and gloom. In this new world, we'd learn to appreciate the little things, quite literally. We'd find joy in the simple act of traversing a blade of grass or the thrill of riding an ant. We'd learn to adapt, to innovate and to overcome. And perhaps, just perhaps, we'd become a closer, more connected society as we band together to navigate this new tiny world. In this tiny world, human interaction takes a whole new meaning. What can we learn from imagining ourselves as ant-sized humans? We've journeyed through this mind-bending thought experiment, analyzing the physical, environmental, and social implications of such a drastic change in size. This exploration has not only been a fascinating dive into the realm of the tiny, but it has also highlighted some compelling lessons that we can carry into our everyday lives. Firstly, the physical implications of being ant-sized taught us about the importance of adaptability. Our bodies would need to change dramatically to survive at such a small scale. This mirrors our own lives, where change is the only constant and adaptability is key. Just as an ant-sized human would have to adjust their body structure to survive, we too need to learn to adapt to the ever-changing circumstances in our lives. Secondly, we looked at the environmental challenges that an ant-sized human would face. The world at this scale is a vastly different place filled with new dangers and opportunities. This underlines the importance of perspective. Sometimes a shift in perspective can completely change our understanding of the world around us. It can help us see challenges as opportunities and transform the way we interact with our environment. Finally, we considered the social implications of living life as an ant-sized human. In such a world, cooperation and community would become paramount for survival. This reinforces the value of resilience and unity in our own lives. In the face of adversity, it's not just our individual strength, but our collective resilience that helps us overcome challenges.